Welcome back to Trailer Park Cooking. I'm Jeannie B. Delicious, and today we're gonna to be making chicken noodle soup. So the first thing we're gonna do is get some chicken. I cut it in half, and I put it in a pan of boiling water with about two tablespoons of salt. So we're gonna boil the chicken until it's completely done in this pan. We've got one cup of flour. I have some cup on the side for when we roll it out so that it doesn't stick to my countertop. We need one whole egg. It's better if you have it at room temperature. I have one half teaspoon of salt and one half, or sorry, one quarter teaspoon of baking powder. I also have two tablespoons of milk. So that's for the egg ingredients. Have that. Um, so the ingredients that we're going to actually put in the soup itself, um, I have whatever chicken broth that you want to use. I like to use the one that's already made instead of what's on the chicken. I just don't, I think that's getting all the impurities out. Um, so I definitely will not use the broth from the chicken, but a lot of people do. I know I do in, in a pinch if I don't have any chicken broth already made. Um, I'm also going to add some uh, some actual chicken bouillon flavor and just makes it a little bit saltier. A can of cream and mushroom soup, cream of mushroom soup, so a can of cream of mushroom soup. I've got a couple leaves of kale. I don't want to over kale it, just a little bit in there. Um, some green onions. I have three of them. Some carrots, a whole white onion, and this is about eight cloves of garlic. I love garlic in my um, chicken noodle soup. And about four whole stalks of celery. We're going to add that in here after we get the noodles made. So let's get started on the noodles. All right, so the first thing that we want to do on the noodles is we have the flour in the bowl already. We're going to add your salt and uh, baking powder. I'm just going to use, um, this goes to my mixer, but I don't have a whisk anyway, so and just whisk that lightly together. All right, and then in the center, you're going to create a little hole for your liquid ingredients. So I'm going to crack an egg. And I'm going to add my milk. So that it looks like that. And then we're going to take our clean hands that we've washed because, you know, this season is all about making sure you have your hands washed. We want to prevent other people from being COVID-19 victims. And I have been isolating myself. I'm working at home. I normally work in a call center. So definitely working at home now. And this is my day off. So I'm going to do stuff fun for us. Um, so get our hands grimy and dirty. And you're just going to kind of pinch it in until it forms a nice sticky dough. Now you don't want to over mix it because that'll make your noodles hard. So we've got a nice sticky dough going on and you just want it enough to form together. Of course I'm taking all my hands. A lot of people who have lots of gadgets in their kitchens and I have a few but not too many. Um, I'm just going to rub all this stuff off my fingers and get my rolling pin out. And that's where the extra flour comes from. So you got your extra flour. So the first thing I'm going to do is just kind of roll that flour all over my rolling pin. And then I'm going to transfer that dough that we had onto the counter. So now we're going to roll it out. And you're going to roll it as thin as you want your noodles. Now, there, because it has baking powder in it, it's actually going to make those noodles kind of fluffy. 
Um, so when your soup is done, about 10 or 15 minutes before your soup is done, um, then you're going to uh, add your noodles. And this is plenty of noodles for one big batch of chicken noodle soup. those sticky spaces and we just want to make sure that it's free from the counter before we let it dry because otherwise it's going to be a problem later all right so 20 minutes is about enough time to cut up all your vegetables and put them in your pot to put in your rice cooker or instant pot or a crock pot or a pan on the stove um, so we'll just cut up all those vegetables <laughs> chicken broth. This one just so happens to be organic. It's not that I would always choose organic. I mean, I try to. Um, I just like the idea of, of it. I don't know if it's really healthy or not. I think the bar is still out on that, but um, I just add the whole container. Because with the vegetables cooking down, So if I'm looking at the line on here, that's about 10 cups uh, or quarts. Cups or quarts, I'm not sure what it is on this. And then I'm just gonna throw a couple tablespoons of that in there. Did I forget to mention that you wanna put some pepper in there? I'm gonna put this on medium. It's kind of nice that they sell these pepper grinders in the store. Just put as much, as much pepper as you want in there. And then I'm going to plop it into this little cheap thing, turn it to the on. And I'm going to put soup and I'm going to put four hours. All right, so we've cut up the vegetables, we put them in our pot, we added our, our soup broths and some water and some chicken bouillon, so on and so forth. Uh, we've got our noodles sitting here waiting to be cut. It's been about 20 minutes. It does allow them enough time to dry enough so that it makes cutting a lot more easier. So what I do is I just take a knife. You can use a pizza um, roller, which works much better than this. Um, but 
You can make them different lengths. I make them about half inch wide, maybe quarter. And you just keep on slicing through. I've got them sliced. I just go across and then with the mixed flour, I just fluff them up a little bit because we're going to let them sit here until it's time to put them in our noodles. So I'm just going to throw them in this little pan so I can clean up the counter. Now it's time um, to take the chicken out of the pot. I put it aside. Um, and it's still not cooked all the way, but it is tender enough to debone. So we're just going to debone it and put it into our soup. Now you can cook it till it's completely done, um, which is completely fine. And I just lost one of my earrings, which is fine. Um, people like to use a whole chicken to make um, chicken noodle soup is um, because the bone broth that you get from cooking the bones whole. However, we've already got chicken broth that we purchased from the store, so we don't need it. All right, so we've got our chicken, and we're going to add it to our empty pot. We're at that point where we can add our noodles to our soup, and in about 10 to 15 minutes, then it'll be ready to eat. We've got our soup, the carrots are lovely. There's a nice little boil going on on the soup. And we have our noodles here that have um, dried up a little bit. And we're just gonna add those to the soup. A little bit at a time. Now it's gonna cool the soup down a little bit. Um, but it'll come right back up to a boil so it'll cook those noodles nice and evenly. It's time for the taste test. Vegetables are done. Chicken is done. Noodles are done. Mmm. It's savory. Now, if you want a little spice, you could always add some different peppers to it or um, just add a little bit of your red pepper or something like this. This is such a satisfying meal and it's very comforting when you're sick. The noodles turned out perfect. They're so soft um, and firm at the same time. They give it a nice consistency plus that extra flour that was in it kind of thicken the broth up a little bit so that it's just really a very comforting meal. Um, one of the best chicken noodle recipes that I've ever had is the one that I am presenting to you today. Again, join me next time for another great recipe on Jeannie B. Delicious Trailer Park Cooking. Bye, you all. Keep safe. Wash your hands. Stay together. Work together, even if it has to be from home. Have a good day.